Hello. 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 Hi, Eric. Hi, Mr. Guardian. Nice to meet you. Eric. Nice to meet you. Jeremy Davis. Eric. Nice to meet you. Simon. Hi, Simon. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you. Hey, James David from the Telegraph. Okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Maybe all. Nice to meet you. Is there anybody that's not nice to meet? No one. Thank you. Thanks, everyone, for coming today. We're absolutely thrilled to be welcoming to Old Trafford the new manager of Manchester United, Eric Ten Hag. Uh, Eric, would you like to make a few uh, remarks to begin with? No, yeah. The remark is, yeah, and today I'm happy to meet all. <laughs> but um, I'm really excited to be here. Um, yeah, uh, it was a really warm welcome here in the club. And I'm looking forward uh, to, to work in this club and I'm looking forward to cooperate with you all. So um, uh, it gives me energy. Looking forward to the new season. And um, yeah, today... Uh, I feel quite well. Uh, I feel welcome. Yeah, this is my home, and I want to achieve success. Okay. So please uh, raise your hands to ask a question and state your uh, name and news organisation when called. Uh, we'll start with uh, Simon. Hi, Eric. Uh, Hi. Simon Peach from PA. Welcome to Manchester United. Thank you. You've been preparing for this job for a week or so now in, in England. You were at the Crystal Palace match yesterday. What are your first thoughts on what you're taking on and what areas have you pinpointed that need improvement? Uh, I uh, make analyze uh, and I think we are in the lead of the process now uh, with, this, with this start. Uh, before season starts, we have now a couple of weeks of break. Um, uh, I may, so I make analyze, I observe and I will set of course conclusions uh, but I keep it now for myself. Uh, it's in, and, uh, the previous season, and we have to go to the next season. Hi, Eric. Neil Custis from The Sun. Um, a lot of very good coaches have sat there and said they want to bring good times back to Manchester United and haven't. What makes you confident that you can do that? Yeah, it's, um, the confidence is that um, I have, have a good feeling with the people around. I have a good feeling from the meetings. Uh, um, we have a plan, and now it's about to get the plan done, uh, to get it into process, uh, to cooperate, um, to be consistent in our plan. And when we have good people around with uh, the right connection of the right commitment, uh, we will achieve the success we want to. What's the plan out of interest? Uh, the plan is huge <laughs> and, and we only have a short time. Uh, but uh, of course, and we will first roll it out to, to the staff and we roll it out to the players and yeah, you will see. Eric Samuel Luckers, Manchester United News. Uh, Ralph Rangnick said that he's going to speak with you this week. Uh, he previously said that the club might need up to 10 new players ahead of this rebuild. Do you agree with him on that assessment or do you think fewer players are required in the transfer window? Uh, well, I, I just said I, I, I'm uh, still in the process of analyse and to set conclusions. Um, I'm looking forward to work with this place. Uh, the decision before uh, this squad. Uh, was second in the league, uh, so there is huge potential. So I think um, if we if we improve, uh, if we can work with them, I think we can uh, get out more than but now is the result from this season. Yeah. Uh, Melissa Reddy, Sky Sports. What have you uh, assessed as the first steps you need to take? The initial steps as manager of Manchester United to change things. Now, the, the initial steps, uh, what we are now doing is first uh, constructing the staff, constructing the squad, and constructing a good plan, and first is the pre-season plan, what, uh, what we are now working on. And you say, you know, thinking about the, the squad and thinking about the staff, there's a lot of restructuring, this, this is a big job in general, but at the time you are coming in, there's so much change not just in terms of the squad, but behind the scenes. Are you excited by that challenge? That it seems like it's a blank canvas almost for you. Yeah, that is on the club, they have to set conditions. And I have uh, 
work with my squad and to to achieve success and uh, that is what I'm looking forward to and we have, we have a strategy and so we have a concept and we will work on that. There's obviously lots to be done in terms of improving the performance levels but have you thought about the psychology changing the atmosphere around the place? Yeah, we, um, uh, we always bring uh, in every club um, we, uh, uh, we think about what is in the club, what is in the spirit of the club, uh, and that is what we want to know. Uh, but also, and that's why they appoint me as a manager, I have to bring something in the club, uh, a dynamic. And, uh, and in the top, and we want to achieve top, you have to demand, and that is what we are willing to do. Uh, hi, Eric. Uh, David McDonald from the Daily Mirror. Um, it's nine years since Manchester United won the title. This season they finished 35 points behind Manchester City, so they're kind of further further away than ever from winning the title. Realistically, how long do you think it will take before this club is challenging for the title again? <clears throat> do the supporters have to be realistic about the, the size of the task you face? I don't think about that in this moment. Uh, what we're thinking about is this is a project. I know it takes time, but I also um, know that in this club, and I have the experience with other clubs like Ajax and Bayern Munich, in the top is never time. Uh, but uh, we um, uh, we want to win. We want to win uh, every game. So we go from game to game, and then we will see. Um, Eric Simon Stone, uh, BBC. Did you think at all about coming here when you were offered the job? You have a a big reputation, a growing reputation, and you're putting it on the line for a club that um, a lot of people think he's not doing very well. It's a bit of a risk for you. I don't see it as a risk. Uh, I think um, this club uh, has a, a great history. And now, yeah, let's make a future. And I'm really excited to do that with um, the people around uh, who are in the club. We bring some new people in, in the staff. Um, we will analyze the squad and we will go from day to day. Uh, work hard, 100% uh, committed, and then I'm sure we will get a uh, success. Eric Keane Irvin from Premier League Productions. How much are you looking forward to being in this league, in this country, and challenging yourself against some of the best coaches in the world? How ready for that do you feel at this stage of your career? Yeah, it's fantastic. Um, but I already uh, met big coaches, big teams in the Premier League, so I know how to deal with that, but uh, it's clear uh, the Premier League is the biggest league um, in, in the world, I think, uh, and I really look forward uh, to battle with them. Have you spoken to people about what it's like to be here at this club in this league week to week? Yeah, of course I've spoken with people to get an idea. <clears throat> Hi, Eric. Um, Jerry Jackson, The Guardian. From you, do you think it's going to be a case of evolution or revolution for the club? I think we have to work and we have to uh, set uh, clear purposes, purposes, clear strategy, and then you need people who have uh, capabilities and have the, the right attitude, had a positive attitude and 100% committed and work hard and then we will achieve success. And how does an ideal team of yours play? How would you like to see them actually play? I mean, the team's playing as you like. Yeah, it's, um, yeah. maybe you have seen Ajax, huh? and I like that, huh? but it's always players uh, dictating the way of play. And uh, now when I have the idea, I will um, line up my best team, I will, uh, and I will line up my, my plays like that, that they get the best out of, of them, and that they can go to the maximum, that they feel comfortable uh, in their role, and, and, and in the end it's about yeah, getting the success together. Eric, uh, James Tucker from the Daily Telegraph. Um, the club have had an interim manager in Ralph Ranjek for the past six months, uh, and he's been very vocal about what he feels needs to change at the club going forward. 
do you do you plan to sit down with Ralph and listen very clearly to his findings over the past six months that he's that, that he, he he's established? And do you think you can you can take something from that, or will you just move on and not speak to him? I think it's part of my analysis. I analyze by myself, I observe, and I speak with a lot of people. But finally, I will draw my own line. Yeah, and do you, uh, there's obviously plans for Ralph to have a consultancy role with the club going forward. Do you endorse that? Do you support that? Do you think that could be valuable for the club going forward? That is on the club. Ja, Maarten Wijfels van het Algemeen Dagblad. Dag Erik. Um, Maarten. Did you speak to um, people like Louis van Gaal or Damien Blind? Huh? They worked here. Uh, Damien Blind was your player at Ajax. And what maybe did people tell you about the culture of the club and the culture of English football? Yeah, as I, as I said before, I, uh, I spoke with more, with more people who have experience with this club and uh, experts, but finally I will draw my own line. Did you speak to Van Gaal, who was manager? Yes, I spoke with uh, Louis, yeah. I was at his movie. It was at his movie? Yeah, I was at the premiere of his movie. And then you talked yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Hi, Derek, it's Ian Layden from the Daily Mail. Um, there's a feeling in English football that nobody else will win the Premier League until the clock. Guardiola cycle is over, and one of them or both of them decide to leave. Do you agree? Do you agree with that? Does everybody else have to wait? In this moment, I, I admire them. I admire them both. Uh, they play in this moment really fantastic football, both uh, Liverpool and Man City. But you will always see uh, um, that yeah, there are, uh, uh, an era can come to an end and I'm looking forward to battle with them and I've, I'm sure all the other in the Premier League and all the clubs will want to do that. But can that era come to an end before they decide to leave? I think, yeah. Hi Rick, Paul Hurst from The Times. You spoke about the club's history uh, a few moments ago. Did you do a lot of research into the club and is that one of the reasons why you came? No, the reason is, eh, although eh, it's a fantastic history, Clear, but the reason is that uh, there's a high potential potential for the future. That's why I'm here. Will you speak with the players this week about what you want from them, or was it wait till they come back for pre-season? No, I I don't speak with the players now. And they need a break, and they need uh, a break to reflect. And but I'm looking forward. Uh, I cannot wait to start, but I, I want to wait. Until at the end of June, with some players and the majority in the first week of July. Hi, Eric. I'm Rob Dawson from ESPN. Um, the club have been quite clear that they they appointed you because you fit their criteria. You tick all their boxes for what they were looking for in a manager. Um, but what what support do you need from the club moving forward to make sure that you're successful here? Yeah, we had we had good meetings and good talks, and um, I think we are on the same page. And I think that's a good platform to start. And I'm sure I have confidence in that in that project that we uh, have the good people around and we have the right strategy. And from that point, uh, or they said, a good platform. And then now we have to start work. And obviously, you've been very successful at Ajax. But do you see similarities in the job that you had to do at Ajax when you first got there to the job that faces you here now? Yes, there are similarities in, in both clubs. Uh, starting uh, with the Trico, both red, uh, but um, I think both clubs uh, are used to have success and that is, I think, the biggest similarity. Eric, uh, Laurie Whitwell from The Athletic. I just wonder, could you give us an example of what Steve McLaren and Mitchell van der Gaag will bring to Manchester United and why you chose them as assistants? Yeah, they, um, they both know how to get success because they both uh, win titles, trophies in their careers, and that's why they are here. And just in terms of um, your conversations with the club, recruitment's obviously going to be a, a big factor to your success. Do you feel that the club is equipped to do that? Yes, uh, you, it's right. Recruitment is an important part, and I, 
I'd like to work with them. Hi, Eric. Uh, Kieran Canning from AFP. You've talked there about a project and a, and a style of play, but also adapting to the, the players that you have. Does, does Cristiano Ronaldo fit into that project? Of course. What, what do you feel he can bring going into next season? Uh, Ronaldo? Yeah. Uh, and goals. <laughs> <laughs> But you're looking for more leadership from as well to, to sort of lead this project forward uh, these days. Uh, I talk first with Ronaldo uh, before I talk with you. <laughs> Myself on the ground. The What's up? Uh, Eric, um, what's your first impression of Manchester? Can you tell us something about whether you've been here before in the town or the, the kind of people you're meeting, uh, where you're going to stay? Uh, uh, I have been in Manchester. But this is the first time I'm on uh, in on Old Trafford, and I'm impressed, and it feels like my home already. Uh, and I cannot wait uh, till the first match. Uh, that uh, the stand is is full, and uh, it would be an excitement uh, experience. What did you feel when you used to watch Man United on television? When you saw the kind of crowd they have, the, the atmosphere. Uh, Liverpool have their own atmosphere. Uh, Man City. What did you think of this? I have seen a lot in the past eh, with, uh, with big teams from Man United. Eh, they have, they have uh, a lot of generations who were uh, really successful, and there was a fantastic, fantastic ambience always on Old Trafford. And I'm really looking forward to to get that experience. And it was your favourite club as a boy, was it? It was. <laughs> serious for? Uh, serious for England. Eh? In eh? in every country, I had a favourite club. In England, Man United. Thank you. Uh, last two questions at the back. Um, hi, Eric. Oliver Brown, The Telegraph. Um, Steve McLaren always said you were very good at analysing matches. Um, you were at Selhurst Park yesterday. What were your conclusions? Does, does this seem to you like a team low on confidence? Mm. What I said, um, I observed it, I analysed it, but it's for me. Um, uh, I wasn't in charge. Uh, I uh, take this information to the new CC. Hi, Eric. Tyrone Marshall from the Manchester Evening News. One of the biggest debates internally around United this season has been who the captain is going to be and whether they're getting the right leadership. Um, do you see Harry Maguire as your captain next season, or is that something you're you're going to assess in pre-season? Uh, yeah, as I said, uh, but I'm, I have to repeat. Uh, uh, Next season is a different season, uh, but uh, I think he did a great job. He is a great player. Um, he achieved already a lot. Um, really, uh, also contribution to Man United. And so I'm looking forward to work uh, with him. Um, you said you spoke to Louis Van Gaal. Um, you'll be aware that he said that you should join a football club, not a commercial club. Did you take his advice before agreeing to manage here? And um, if, if so, what did he tell you? I have heard, but as I said, I draw my own line. And I'm convinced that it not be the case. Uh, and I spoke, of course, uh, with the directors about it, but um, uh, football is one, two, three in this club. Yeah. And every club in these days uh, is commercial. And they, <laughs> they, every club needs it. You need the revenues yeah. uh, to, to be in the top, and so as to do what necessary, but uh, football is one, two, three in this club. Okay. Uh, first count. Uh, you, you look forward to meet uh, Donny van Beek again, Donny van Beek, to see him again? Yes, of course. I was, uh, uh, we had a fantastic squad in that time in Ajax. Um, I really had a good relationship with him, and of course I am looking forward to, to meet him again on the pitch. Okay, that's uh, thank you. 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 Th